The box in this problem slides up a slope, inclined at angle alpha, so that it comes to rest after rising to a height h above the ground. There's friction between the box and the slope, and we're asked to find the speed v0 that the box needs at the bottom of the incline. We'll find this using the work and energy equation, work done by other forces, plus the initial kinetic energy, plus the initial potential energy, equals the sum of the final energies. We identify the bottom of the incline as the initial point, and the top, where the box is at rest, as the final point. In between the initial and final points, friction does work on the box, so work done by other forces is the work done by friction. The initial kinetic energy is 1 half mv0 squared. If we set y equals 0 on the ground, there's no initial potential energy, and the box has stopped at the final point, so there's no final kinetic energy. The final potential energy is mgh. Before we can solve for the initial speed, v0, we need to evaluate the work done by friction. Let's do that over here and start by redrawing the ramp. The box's motion is directed up the ramp, while the force of friction is directed opposite that, down the ramp. The work equals the magnitude of the force times the distance traveled times cosine of the angle between those two vectors. In this case, the angle theta is 180 degrees, so cosine of that is negative 1. Next, we can rewrite the friction force as mu sub k times n, the normal force, and delta r, the distance traveled, as the length of this vector shown here. It's equal to h, the height, over sine of alpha, because from the ramp's geometry, sine of alpha equals h over delta r. And now we remember that for a block on an inclined plane, the normal force is mg times cosine of the angle, alpha in this case. If you've forgotten that, there's a quick tip, block on an inclined plane, showing that result, or you can quickly find it by summing forces. Substitute all of these results and simplify to see that the work done by friction is negative, it's tending to slow the box down, mu sub k times mgh over tangent alpha. We bring that result back over to our work and energy equation, substitute it in, and now we can just solve for v0, the initial speed. First cancel the mass from every term, and then multiply by 2 to get rid of the factor of 1 half, and solve for v0, seeing that it equals the square root of 2gh times the quantity 1 plus mu sub k over tangent alpha.